greeting. Have you ever noticed that if we were going to do something stupid, you'd have the major media out here? Yes. If we said we were going to spin on our heads, you'd have so many cameras as far back as that fountain pushing and shoving. That's right. If we said we were going to smoke dope, you couldn't stop the camera. But if we say that we want to stop the madness, suddenly it's not new. It must be pointed out, just as they will point out where any imperfection that they can imagine, they find it brought to us by Commissioner Kelly, brought to us by Mayor Bloomberg, just as they will point out anything that they feel we are short, let it be noted that when we said we were wanted to do something positive, suddenly there's an action. While we're noticing these things, right. let's also just realize these folk on the block, I don't believe that they own a single gun shop. Right. Yeah, that's right. They do not manufacture guns. That's right. Come on, brother. There's no gun factory, no bullet factory that they own. That's right. These things are coming into our community, not in the back of somebody's car simply. This is coming in by the tractor trailer load. That's right. yeah, yeah, this yeah. is flooding our community. Yeah. We call on everybody to take their fair share and find out what is going on here because there's more to this than meets the eye. That's right. Some will say, well, we have all kinds of folk here. We have folk from different faith-based communities and folk who have little faith joining together. I am reminded that Malcolm X taught us conditions are going to force you to come together whether you want to or not. That's right. And we are at that moment. My friends, we have to stop this madness before this madness stops up. Right. When you're talking about your prime youth being taken out the picture, you're talking about your future. This is the equivalent of eating your seed grain. This is the equivalent of making sure that you have nothing to take you into tomorrow. I am glad that there are those among us, Pastor Ferguson quickly comes to mind, who said we have to starve this beast. This is a ravenous beast that we would prophesize about. A beast that seeks to devour and doing a very good job. Go a step further. This beast is doing such a good job that the folk who are wielding these guns are putting the Ku Klux Klan out of business. The Klan does not have to lift a single hand. Single-handedly, these youth are doing their job of the Klan in a far better way than the Klan ever did. And it is time that we talk about it. But then we have to be about it. Whether it takes, and I re we, have, we have models, I am remembered of our late great Sonny Carson and the black man's movement against crack. Yeah. We should not be scared to say folk who went before us and said that we will stop this by whatever means necessary. We need to pray about this. We need to talk about this. We need to be about this. Right. We have to make sure that our children have a safe place. We have to make sure that government does everything. We have to draw, draw the attention that you can't talk about why you need stop and frisk while you cut our beacon schools. Right, that's right. You can't simply talk about why we need more jails when you're cutting alternatives to incarceration. That's right. That's right. You can't simply talk about you folk need to speak more when you're silencing us every time you get. Come on. Yeah. We have to be consistent with our message. That's right. And since there are far better people here than I ever hoped to be, I'm going to decrease and let others increase. Yeah. God bless you all. Yeah. Yeah.